Down in Arlington, they decided it was time for a parade. It being Teacher Appreciation Week, that made it the perfect time to celebrate the community and the schools along with the teachers and educators who make them go. School has been out in a sense since mid-March, although students and teachers along with school administrators have been trying to keep the learning going through some unprecedented conditions created by the COVID-19 pandemic. But everyone seems to miss the day-to-day -day interaction in the classroom so to reinforce the connection between the school and the community, a parade was held Thursday, May 7th, starting from Arlington Memorial High School and Fisher Elementary School to celebrate teachers and educators. We had a chance to talk with Arlington Memorial High School Principal Sarah Merrill, Fisher Elementary Principal Dion Lacoste, and School Superintendent Bill Basic about the parade. Pretty exciting. This is very exciting. It's a great uh, pick-me-up for, for our community, definitely. And it's a great way to celebrate our teachers. Uh, this week is Teacher Appreciation Week, so um, it's a great way to honor all of them, to have the kids out to see them. So yeah, whose idea was it to uh, have this parade? So, uh, I think we, it was during a staff meeting, a Zoom staff meeting, but we decided that the kids were feeling a little down and we need to do something for them, and I think we needed it as much as they need it. So we're pretty excited about today, and it should be a ton of fun. It is. It's Teacher Appreciation Week. Um, everybody's been a little cooped up, not only with the quarantine, but the weather has not been, well, I guess it's been a typical Vermont spring. Um, so it's nice to get on this beautiful night. We're going to take a ride around Arlington. The idea is all the teachers are going to be in their cars, um, socially distant appropriately, and um, we're going to drive by the children's homes, uh, wave, uh, hopefully make their night, um, and start reconnecting as we try to rebuild and uh, you know, bring in our relationships back. So we're very excited too, and I just want to thank not only Arlington teachers, but all the teachers out there. Um, you know, uh, it's a, they're, they're doing an incredible job in this pandemic um, all throughout Vermont, and we're very lucky to have such dedicated people. The parade route wound its way through East Arlington and up to Sunderland, where the fire trucks, state police cars, ambulances, and other vehicles taking part in the parade turned around on Route 7A and headed back into Arlington, where it headed west on Route 313 to East Arlington before winding its way back to the Fisher Elementary School. There was a festive atmosphere in the air, along with a lot of noise, to counter the loss of the regular school routines for now and their hope for a return next fall. For the GNAT-TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.